It hasn't really even been a year since I made the last video on these guys, but I've been on several shoots since then. A lot of the ideas are the same, but I've made quite a few adjustments to how my pellies are set up. So there's really two kinds of pelicans I'm rolling with at this point. Um, this one, and then there's another bigger pelly uh, that is kind of my coverall toolbox, you know fill in the blank, whatever it needs to be. This is still primarily my camera box. Starting in this main compartment, uh, this top bigger uh, section, I've just been kind of throwing whatever I need in it. Currently there's a uh, cheap director's viewfinder, a lens adapter, not really super organized. I just kind of have whatever in it right now. Next to that's just a lens. The next main compartment has a little pouch with lens filters. This is a, a bum bag. I got it off Amazon. It's really nice. I think I saw Drake Kelch and a couple other guys wandering around with these. There's also a camera hardware pouch. Um, it's just labeled stuff because I haven't taken the time to buy more of these labels. I've got all sorts of miscellaneous hardware. There's some NATO rails. Uh, what is this? Just a bunch of Allen. This is my little bits kit. Um, I think it started out as a like a, the generic small rig bits kit and then I've just put whatever I have lying around in there. And then this is small rigs, uh, fancy schmancy. What is this? Um, just has like everything on there. Lastly, here's the DJI wireless mic two. I just got the one transmitter, one receiver pack. Um, that stuff's been living up there. We'll move on to the row of lenses. I think this is another cheaper prime, the Roken I-85. This lens I've actually used quite a bit. This is the, uh, the Tokina, Tokina? Tolkina, I don't remember how to pronounce it. This is the uh, 11 to 16. Oh, Tokina, 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 I don't know. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, it's got APS-C and Super 35 lens coverage, so it's not quite full frame, so it feels kind of weird carrying this around. Next, this is my Sigma 50 mil. Uh, it's nice to have a fast 50. Uh, and above that has also been kind of just a mix matched, you know, whatever fits in there. But right now there's my Helios 85 mil. Lastly, this main pouch is uh, for my A7 IV. Moving on to the lead, I've got all of my arms. Great to have a bunch of different kinds. The pouch directly below that is obviously misc hardware. Tapes, bags, more misc. Uh, I've got little plastic baggies in there for holding little bits. Some card protectors, just in case you need to pass somebody off a card or whatever. I think there's an extra Velcro label in there and some E-tape. <laughs> Color checker, SD cards. Uh, I've got a uh, SATA SSD drive in there. Um, Polaroid because I am sentimental. Finally, this big pouch has all of my 15 mil rods and then some more 15 mil rod accessories. One of the cool things I've added recently is a little light. It's kind of cool. It's a nice little, little you know, top down light. It helps me see when I'm working in dark spaces. Uh, the other cool thing is if you get some neon green gaff tape, uh, it tends to reflect nicely. So that's pretty much it for this Peli. Honestly, hasn't changed that much since the last year. Okay. Oh. Time for the bigger Peli. This guy has gotten a lot less hollow in the previous year. Last Pelican video, I showed this one at the very end because I'd just gotten it, barely organized it, um, had ideas and plans for it, but obviously I hadn't taken it on any shoots. And I was still, you know, running around with my two 1510s. Um, since then, this has almost been what I exclusively take to shoots or work or anything because you don't need much bigger than this. Like the last Pelican, uh, got a little, I've got a little light. This one I made more neutral because it's fun to differentiate between the two. This is my coverall tech Pelican. Um, it has tons of stuff in it. I guess it is kind of laid out similarly to how it was last year, if I remember correctly, but I've refined it all a little bit. In this 
top main one, I've got my point source headset that I've been leaving open more often than not. Underneath that, I've got a, a Amazon pouch full of cables. I've got stuff from SDI to uh, Ethernet to HDMI, a bunch of power cables, USB-C, USB, tons USB, of USBs. Then I've got all of these smaller bags. I guess this one's not a ton smaller. This was my wireless fizz kit earlier this year. I plugged my uh, Fizz controller into something that was far too powerful and kind of blew it up. So, oh well. I've got a uh, level because it's nice to have a level. Next, I've got a pouch full of all sorts of different tools. There's uh, screwdrivers in here, some C-wrenches. Uh, I've got a tiny little multi-tool that has a hammer on it. This is probably my favorite one out of them all. Uh, it's a Mitchell spanner. Um, hex key bag has stayed the same, same hex keys as last year. Bada bing, bada bing. This is a uh, Ethernet cable making kit, uh, specifically RJ45. Next row, uh, big compartment of tapes. Uh, I've got some gaffs, some e tape, and there's even some uh, dual lock in there. This is the same little box from last year. Uh, I've got some USB wall plugs, uh, just a bunch of random circuitry stuff, uh, some adhesive velcro to stick on things and a bunch of double a's got my husky fix it kit this is basically a fix it kit but off brand i'm still rolling around with this assortment of m3 through 5 bolts next little case has a bunch of sockets got a little got a little sensor cleaner uh, lens cleaner also got a extension cord what else is on this side? I also have a singular safety cable in here. What is this rated for? I don't even remember what this is rated for. Next little compartment, I've got a got a little voltage multimeter right above that. I've got my disto. I've also got these little tweezers. Then finally in that little compartment, I've got my snips. Uh, right above that, it's my pens, sharpies. Final little compartment in this lower section. Uh, it's kind of been a random throw what you need in there, but right now, and what mainly is in there is my Headlamp, my gloves, and my tape. All right, the top left, uh, cable management stuff. They're those little adhesive zip tie stickies. Uh, top middle, oh, this is actually where my color checker is right now. These are a bunch of cheap clips I got, got off of Amazon. This middle left compartment usually has magic arms and stuff. It's raining, it's raining so hard. This middle pouch, uh, it's got some carabiners, uh, I've got like a, a cable ties, uh, all-purpose ties, great to have. My uh, rigging, first AC, whatever, belt, thingamadoohicker. This right middle pouch, uh, I've got kind of specialty tools. Uh, there's a little USB, AC, um, and I think, I think micro's on there. Uh, just voltage tester. It's also got a protocol meter on there so you can tell what protocols you're pulling from whatever. I've got a uh, strip screw removal kit. Finally, bottom left uh, pouch. Uh, it's kind of the electrical cable making stuff. There's a cool little cable stripper. You just kind of pull up on this guy, or push up with your thumb, slide your cable in there, and then spin her around. This is also the pouch where the little battery bank for that light lives. Um, outlet tester, uh, voltage tracer. This main pouch has got a longer set of SAE and metric uh, Allen keys, and then a bunch of zip ties. This thing has done nothing but get heavier and heavier. <sighs> so those are the Pelicans I've been taking on shoots, uh, whether it's hopping cameras or, you know, helping set up lighting rigs or all of the above. Um, I've been taking those around for the last year or so. It's nice to kind of have room for pretty much everything I could need. I've got a couple of other smaller uh, pelicans like this guy. This is kind of my anamorphic kit. Um, it's not a true anamorphic, but the uh, moment anamorphic adapter. This guy's been pretty cool to mess around with and shoot things with. Not a lot of hassle to use and work with. This guy just kind of has all of the different little things like I've got my mini mat box for it, step up rings for this mat box. I've also got uh, some dioplers in here. I also have a pouch right now that only has a monitor mount in it, but usually my Helios lives in there because that's been my favorite pairing with this anamorphic adapter. But this was kind of a fun little case to 
put together. I guess the last thing, and it's not, it's just kind of something I've been building and working on, but I've been trying to organize my lighting equipment a little better. So I have another 1560 Peli uh, that's got all my lighting stuff in it. This guy doesn't have a top piece. I've got safety cables in here, some gaff, more of these clips, power cables for all of my lights. They've got several different kinds, so I just kind of keep them all in there. It's pretty easy to tell them apart. Kind of basic, generic, little, I think these are actually newer panels. Um, just little LED panels, pretty great. They look decent enough. Um, they're cool to sh throw up as like little fill lights. Uh, I've used them in some of the shoots I've done. Um, I've got the little uh, Aperture MC, uh, little mini guys that are behind me currently. Those go up in the top right. Below that is some of this rigging stuff. This is my lighting box, kind of fun. Um, that's been the latest addition. Uh, oh, but yeah, it's kind of been my uh, Peli layout for the last year or so. Lighting box is obviously new, it's kind of fun. I'm excited to use that on more shoots. That 1560 Peli, the cover all Peli has been great, uh, super helpful. It's been really fun to take it around and get the most use out of it. So yeah, 